hello welcome back to the happiness in between today i just wanted to update you with my stinky traveler's notebook that i washed and i just want to say again i purchased this used so i don't know its history and i'm not trying to implicate anybody in in any wrongdoing i just and certainly i love sojourner so i'm also not trying to say anything bad about uh, company because this is a Sojourner Traveler's Notebook. I don't know what it smelled like when it was brand new and I don't know what its history is with its previous owner or even if it had more than one owner. So I just know that when I received it, it smelled very stinky, kind of like a rotten animal, uh, not pleasant. And I've purchased a lot of Traveler's Notebooks over the last year, a little bit more than a year. I've bought and sold to try and find what I like best and what works best for me and just to have fun trying the different leathers and things like that. So this is by far the smelliest traveler's notebook that I've ever received. So I watched a video and I apologize, I forget who it is that had a few Shakespeare notebooks that came to them that had a really strong dye smell that was horrible and I know she went through a process, I believe it was two Odysseys, which is a discontinued Cheek Sparrow leather, and she went through a whole process and ended up washing hers. So last video, I washed it very carefully and very short, briefly. And just to be honest, after I dried it, and I'll just share with you the process when I dried it, I folded, very carefully folded up some paper towels and took a clear roll ruler and gently pushed it in and it was folded to the exact shape so that it wouldn't cause any stretching that was unnecessary and I did the same here and here and then flat I wrapped it with a lot of paper towels and then pressed it underneath a stack of very heavy books and things so I did that after I washed it the first time and then I went ahead and I washed it again and then I washed it again and I soaked it. So I've washed this a total of I believe five times since the video that I showed you of washing it. When I washed it off video I actually let it sit in the water that had, was hot and had a little vinegar and a little clear gentle, as non-chemical as you can get it, uh, de dish detergent. And I went ahead and I let that just soak in there for probably five to 10 minutes each time I did it. It is such a strong smell that even after that and after I dried it, it still had a smell, but it was improved. So I went ahead and I took, I had ordered some lavender. I love lavender. If lavender bothers you, then that won't work, but I'm just sharing um, what I did. So this is some dried lavender, and I went ahead and I put it in this bag, and until now, I haven't even taken it out of the bag, so I'm sure the smell is really strong. This is actually a very strong smelling lavender. So I, I'm very happy with how the leather held up. I wasn't certain washing it that many times and soaking it that many times, how it would hold up. Um, thankfully, this is a bit thinner leather than many others, and so I think it wasn't too difficult to dry it. And again, I did actually dry it several times each washing by putting the paper towels folded exactly and put in with a ruler and smashed under heavy things, wrapped many, many additional times so I'm just telling you that to say I was really careful in my drying and I did dry it thoroughly before putting it in this bag. So um, I will say that from this distance, I can still faintly smell the smell that I didn't care for with this leather, but mostly what I smell is lavender. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to air out and see what I think about this later on. I was kind of hoping I'd have more of a judgment, but it's actually, it's not unpleasant. 
now it smells like a strong dye smell to me. It no longer has the rotting smell that it smelled bef smelled like before. And again, I'm really sensitive to smells, so it matters to me what my notebook smells like when I'm using it. Everybody smells things a little differently. So I'm just sharing the process of what I did when I received a notebook that was just beyond what I could stand using. And maybe that'll help you. Maybe it'll just be interesting. Um, but there you have it. And it actually, like I said, at this point, because I just pulled it out of the bag of lavender, it actually smells, it smells good. Um, I actually think the lavender blended with that dye smell really nicely and the washings definitely took the smell down. Uh, it was just, it was incredibly strong when, when I first received it. So I actually think I'm going to be able to use this and I'm going to give it probably a couple days just to air out outside of the bag just to see what it smells like. But I'm I'm actually quite pleased and I just wanted to show you it really held up well I may get a little bit of oil I'm sorry I'm bumping the camera holder here but I may get a little bit of oil I don't feel like it needs it very much for this leather but the pocket probably is what was affected the most and it actually I can see in the camera it actually looks much more distinct than it looks like in real life. But I'm going to probably treat the pocket with a bit of oil. And I have some in my cart. I believe it's, is it mink oil maybe? I'll have to, I'll have to look that up as well. But I haven't purchased it yet so I don't actually have it in hand. But I am excited to try some. I'm a little nervous to try it on this leather because it has a little texture and I think that leather with texture is much harder to treat evenly so I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to best go about that but I love this notebook. I think it's beautiful. I love all my sojourners and yeah so I'll continue to update you let you know what happened after a few days of airing out and uh, that is it for my B6 Slim Sojourner Come to Me Second Hand. And then I wanted to also go ahead and share with you, I have a used traveler's notebook that I've been using and loving, and it actually came to me pre-loved. And it is a, it's an Athena, it's an Odyssey leather, which is a line of leather that Chic Sparrow has discontinued, but it's basically, it was Darcy leather, which now, if you go to the site, has become Austin leather. So basically, if you go to the site, it's Austin leather, the very shiny, but it was treated to make it much more of a well, I guess a little bit more of a matte finish. This still has a, a good bit of shine and just make it look a little more loved. And then you could choose when you purchase it to add rings, ink splatters, and so on and so forth. I didn't choose. I just purchased this used. It came up on a buy sell trade page and I've been using it and loving it ever since then. But I thought I would show you what happens, you can see a lot of the scratches and things, and I just thought I'd try rubbing it out. This is actually a Chic Sparrow bag, and I need to wash it because I've actually done this with two other Chic Sparrow notebooks that I have, that I own, and I just thought I would show you what happens. I don't even know. I haven't, um, sorry, I'm pushing pretty hard on this, but I haven't ever massaged this one or polished, I guess you would call it. I don't have anything on the Chic Sparrow dust bag. That's all I'm using is a dust bag. And I'm sorry, I put this blanket underneath because this is, I did wash and dry and clean the table, but I didn't want to take any chance of it having anything that would leave residue on the notebook. So 
like I said, I just kind of wanted to do this on camera and show you how just a quick polish impacts because I didn't realize, and probably many of you already do, and the first thing I ever tried to treat was a Pemberley that I owned very early in my Traveler's Notebook foray, and it was terribly difficult to condition, and I actually used a conditioner on it, and I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. It came out a bit blotchy, and I don't know that you could rub a Pemberley like this. Probably somebody out there does know, and I would love to hear what your experience is. But I have just been so happy with what a quick massage or polish can do, just like a pair of shoes so I just thought I would give this a quick polish and just show you how nicely I mean obviously you can still see there are dings and dents in it and I'm sorry the lighting is not wonderful but it just shines up so beautifully and takes the dullness of the the scratches and the more you work on it the better it looks. And there, just to compare, you can see, as I shake the camera again, sorry about that, but you can see the one side that I haven't done anything to, and then you can see the other side that I just did that quick polish to, and how nice it looks. And like I said, that's with nothing on it. That's just a flannel, chic sparrow, uh, storage bag. So I just wanted to do that on camera so that you could see because I was really excited about the effect that had on the leather on the other two notebooks that I did it to. And I thought I'd share it with you. So I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope you get an opportunity through the week to enjoy all those little things that are the happiness in between. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you like it, I'd love it if you subscribed and gave it a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Bye.